everybody, it's Jaya and Ian. And we've been doing a 52 week makeover series here to help you make over your sex life, get more passion and hot juiciness, whether you have a partner or not. Mm. <laughs> so we've been here, we're way past midway in this series. There's all sorts of great exercises in bite sized chunks of five series sections, 10 series sections. Go back and check them out. So we've been focusing on sexual health and vitality. Our last two weeks have been for the guys. I wanted to do something for the women and answer the question around vaginal dryness. So if you're dealing with any kind of vaginal dryness or maybe you just want to prevent this from happening in your life, then, <laughs> then check this out. Mm. So one thing I've been talking about a lot is getting to become a detective. So when you, it comes to vaginal dryness, you want to check out, is this a physical issue? Meaning maybe I have scar tissue. Scar tissue can get in the way. Scar tissue from childbirth, infections. A lot of women have adhesions in their pelvic floor and their vaginal canal and they don't even know that they're having it. And this can affect your lubrication. Chemical. So if you are having a hormonal change, mm -hmm. a lot of women report vaginal dryness when they go through menopause or say postpartum after you've had a baby. It's natural for you to start experiencing these changes in your body because you're going through a hormonal change, mm -hmm. a hormonal shift. A lot of times people say that lubrication equals your arousal, like you're not getting aroused. But that's not true. You can be very aroused and still not get wet. I've had this experience in my own body where I can be highly aroused, highly turned on, but my body just doesn't lubricate. And mm. it's because maybe I didn't drink enough water that day. Maybe my hormones are in a certain place. There's all kinds of different reasons and we've got to get to the root of it. It could be emotional. It could be that you know, you're feeling resentment with your partner or maybe you're not feeling safe in that moment. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's why you're not lubricating. So there could be an emotional thing going on. That was happening for us just a few nights ago where mm -hmm. we were going to make love and I was like, you know, my body's just not there. I, I don't feel safe. I like, I don't, and I've been with him a thousand million times, but. <laughs> we had some argument stuff going on and just some disconnection happening. So she was not, her body was not kicking in and saying, mm -hmm. I'm open. Uh, another thing that uh, comes up for me around this is that for some women, I think there can be an expectation that, well, I, you know, like there, like a mental anticipation, like I should be wet by now, mm -hmm. I should be lubricated, and that too could be it's inhibiting. It's a performance anxiety. Yeah, right. That could be inhibiting your ability to lubricate. Or there's pressure to have sex and get to the intercourse right away because you haven't had enough foreplay. Mm. So there's another another thing that goes into the skill sets. You know, are you satisfied? Does it feel good? Has there been enough foreplay for you actually your body to have time to lubricate? Mm -hmm. And those are things that you want to take into account. Okay, so detective work. And also I say use lubricant. And, you know, if your body is just in this biochemical state or there's something going on, not that lubricant is an excuse not to look into what's going on because this is your body may be telling you something that mm -hmm. it needs, but also that you are using lubricant so that it decreases pain and tearing Terror. and some of the other issues that may come along and, with and choose vaginal dryness. And choose a safe lubricant. Organic lubricant, not a chemical lubricant because the chemicals are gonna cause you more dryness. Yeah. Because those are going to be hormone disruptors and right. other things that we don't love. Yes. Hormone disruptors, bad. bad. Okay. Okay, so next video we are going to focus again on female sexual health. And I, I want to discuss pain. So if you're experiencing any kind of pain during sex, let's talk about it. Next mm -hmm. video. All right. Until then, fill, fill your, your life, life with, with pleasure. pleasure.